Hey, what's up everyone? Tommy Night Eight AFC here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be previewing Arsenal against Man United at home in a very and another game that could define our season. This will be more of a traditional old school game like with Wenger versus Pep. I mean Ferguson. As both teams are starting to compete for the title again. Yeah, that's right. Now it is important that we win this game. Because if we don't, I'm going to be mad. Well, no. The reason why it's important that we win this game is so we can see them off early. Or else, they're gonna, or else we're not going to hear the end of it. For some reason, right... It seems to me that some Man United fans are getting very, extremely cocky and assuming, oh, we're going to smash you guys, we're going to be in the title race. I know you beat Man City, and I know you beat Liverpool, and I know you beat all the other teams at the time, and I know you've been very good this season, but come on, man, have some respect. Not forgetting that you're visiting the league league leaders and that and you're gonna be playing in an atmosphere that is very, very hot that is being quite loud, probably the loudest atmosphere in the Emirates era. Yeah. Not pointing that out, are you? No. And that So yeah, wanting to get that out of the way. And yeah, now we have a bit of an advantage going into this game as Casemiro is out injured. And that, and they're already tweeting, oh we know how to beat Arsenal without Casemiro. And um, you did with Casemiro, Casemiro came on as a sub. There is even a screenshot about that. Now, Rashford as well, we're going to have to stop Rashford. He is in the form of his life. If we don't stop him, he will, he will have a field date with us. I have no doubt in my mind. Trust me on that. If we don't stop Rashford, he, he will have a field date with us. And that. But yeah, we are up against a pretty, pre really good Man United side. Just because they're without Casemiro, doesn't mean they, they're not, they're gonna be, it's gonna be an easy game. Remember, and remember the way we played at Old Trafford, and that earlier in the season was down to the reason why we lost was down to bad luck and some bull substitution from the manager that didn't pay off, and that. But other than that, we played really well in that game, and it feels like we owe them some revenge for that. Now, now yeah, we are going to be up against it. And that, they are a very good team this season. Eric Ten Hag has turned things around really quickly, in fact. Because now they are kind of in the equation, and it's important that we see them off, because we don't, because we don't want to be getting into a three-team battle with them. No. That would just be, yeah, the last thing we want. What we need to do, if we need to be aggressive, like we have been at the Emirates, we need to be on their case, we need to really, really be on, or f be on the front foot from the word go, we need to be ruthless, and that. This is a perfect, and Katia now has to step up even more, and that. The reason for that is... He's been superb already, but maybe now is the time for him to step up. And yeah. Now, we can win this game. Obviously. And that. And yeah. Hopefully we will win, and yeah, see you tomorrow, hopefully for my review or TV vlog. Depending if I have time to make a video tomorrow. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching my quick preview. And yeah, let's, let's make tomorrow the most uncomfortable, 
hostile atmosphere that they've ever come to make it really awful for the home for the for the away team really get in their faces. Yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.